hello assalamu alaikum everybody hope you're all safe sound and healthy and the only reason i'm back even though to be very honest i just do not even want to talk anymore um is because there are uh, you know a few developments as we know in england one of the biggest rallies ever um uh, was brought out in protest uh, against the traitors in england and against the people involved in the illegal arrest of imran khan so the protest was basically about the release of imran khan that he should be released and that pakistan should be left to the hell alone and that all the foreign entities and their fifth columnists that they've planted within the country that they need to go so that pakistan should retain its sovereignty that is number 1 number 2 in america as well um there are there is this huge protest going on about the release of imran khan and the maintenance of the sovereignty of pakistan now um i do not shy from saying this over and over again that we all know that britain and america are directly involved in this whole charade this whole drama and that is why america and britain they just don't know what to do now anymore they can't back out they can't move forward and that's exactly the the situation with their minions their fifth columnist the traitors that they've planted in pakistan the same problem is now there because in the within the establishment and the army they have so badly exposed themselves to the public and to the world um you know they are out in the open and they are basically but naked exposed and now they just don't know how to retreat even though actually they have had many little chances many big chances to retreat but they kind of refuse to do so because obviously america is still egging them on with uh, money as we know it's always about money everything is always about money and at the moment the uh, supreme court has also announced and the court has basically announced that the the case against imran khan was bogus and that it should be removed and that he should be bailed out and that he's uh the, the the punishment should be revoked but as of yet i can see no movement as always is the same with the uh, you know with the pervez ilahi and sham mahmood qureshi there is no movement whatsoever as soon as uh, pervez ilahi gets bailed out within seconds the police are always out waiting for him outside the premises of the court and then they put them back they put they put him back in jail um now uh, as i said i've said this before um those people in the army and those people in the police who are mumbling and grumbling and saying that you know we don't want to do this but we're forced to do this fuck you okay i mean i am at this point i'm just going to say it fuck you why i mean what kind of uh, i'm sorry but what kind of a holes what kind of wimps are you that you have no balls seriously you guys you have no balls because i mean in any sane country the police force i mean especially look at yourselves how many are you and how many are your uh, the number of superiors above you you can count the number of superiors in two hands but can you count the number of people in the force itself the the number of officers the number of of cadets you know both i'm talking about both the army and and the police these are huge forces okay so what the hell are you people doing i mean what are you trying to say that you know your handful of superiors are more powerful than all of you put together then you really do not even deserve to be in the force in the first place get out of the army and get out of the police wear bangles and sit at home in fact better yet get high and die that's all you're worth okay because i don't i don't buy this i really don't buy this civilians are out in the streets they're protesting civilians you people you carry weapons okay you carry weapons you have strategies you are actually part of an institution an organized institution you could actually just you know just you could have actually gone on strike against your superiors you could have said that you know you could have gone for a mutiny you could have said you know what fuck you we're not going against the country we're not going against the public we serve them we're their servants we're not your servants we cannot do anything that goes against the constitution but no oh like a bunch of of uh, superiors suddenly are more powerful than hundreds and thousands of uh you know people in the force yeah i don't buy that okay at the end of the day you're all basically either wimps or you're just as dishonest and corrupt as your superiors it's as simple as that i put you all in one bag that's it i don't give a shit seriously um about your excuses to me excuses are made by those who just want to justify everything and anything wrong that they do in life you know 
um, uh, otherwise, you know, there are there really are there is no excuse for anybody in the police force, and there is no excuse for anybody in the army, uh, you know, to sit back and to grumble and whine and then say that oh we're following orders. Yeah, I I don't buy that, and I don't even believe that, and I don't even have time for that. Okay, because again, where okay, so Imran Khan is in jail already his life is in danger because we know that you're not feeding him the right kind of food there's already been threats of uh, you know uh, suspicion basically of of um, him being fed poison slow he's being slow poisoned he's already not well um you think that killing imran khan is going to like subdue the country it's going to put everybody back down under your grasp you're wrong if anything you will probably uh you know push the button on the timer of the ticking bomb you know and and everything's going to explode it's it's going to be your demise and i do hope for your demise to be very honest i don't care how it comes i hope and pray that the establishment and the army and the bureaucracy that they just implode and they implode so bad that we will have to build them up from scratch because actually i want to explode them so that we can build them up from scratch but they're doing a dang good job themselves you know so let them just implode and die out um because i really do not have time for their bullshit nobody has time for their bullshit um that myths you know about the army and the establishment that myth is out the window the people are out in the streets the people are ex extremely angry and the government is actually trying to you know uh create another drama another show uh pretend as they're just putting on a show pretending that they're doing something they're doing nothing um nobody trusts the government nobody trusts the army nobody trusts the police nobody in so in basically in in short the the country has collapsed um i know that america and Brit- britain actually wanted the country to collapse so that they can sort of take it over as a colony but uh no the your minions institutions may have collapsed so in that way the country has collapsed but the people no especially the overseas pakistanis right now they're extremely powerful they're even more powerful than the governments of the of the uh, of britain and the usa alone okay so you better watch out now because they're out for the first time for the first time they've decided to take matters into their hands and they're going all out and so are the people in pakistan they're going all out too so you're actually fighting with the mass and history proves it that it is never never good idea to fight with the mass and it's never a war or a battle that you can win okay so as i said imran khan is in jail shah mehmood qureshi is being pressurized um you know pervez ilahi is constantly being put in jail so all the all the people all the leaders of pti are being you know um messed with uh but again still that does not make people forget imran riaz khan so there are two imran khans in this country that are extremely important to everybody one is imran khan uh the former prime minister and the other is imran riaz khan who is basically a journalist who has basically been kidnapped by the establishment and now the establishment is refusing to take responsibility the police is refusing to take responsibility the army is refusing to take responsibility when everybody knows that it is the intelligence um and that they have him it's been four freaking months okay it's been four freaking months what the frack do you want from a journalist you've already killed one journalist out there in kenya with the help of the cia and now you want to kill another journalist why because they have proof and evidence of your corruption of your relationships with the uh, with the american and british government of your mutual corrupt relationships with these governments is that i mean because they actually have evidence of that and so you think that by killing them or by making them disappear you're going to you can't bury these okay something that is a fact can never be buried okay you just cannot bury the truth the truth is always going to come out it is already out what do you think um, you 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 what are you trying to do nobody has a clue as to what it is that you're trying to do except for the fact that you are just proving our point that you are obsolete
and that you need to be eliminated. The Pak army needs to be eliminated. The government and the establishment uh, have the, are pretending that the army is, bro- uh, is being called out to uh, maintain peace during the protests. But the public, I think this is a golden chance again for the public to show the army what they really think of the army. I think this is a good chance for the public to erase the army completely because we do not want an army that serves another country that serves another purpose you know we are paying them to guard our borders and to protect us but if our dogs are biting the hand that feeds them then those dogs need to be put down it's as simple as that if the a dog cannot have two masters okay no dog has two masters so if our dogs have suddenly decided to be abnormal and they've decided to have other masters masters other than us the the legitimate masters then they need to be put down so the establishment needs to be put down the army needs to be put down all the politicians who have now very conveniently left so it's so it's amazing isn't it it's amazing how within 24 hours fake laws were made and a fake court was put uh, was set up and a fake trial was put up just to put Imran Khan in jail within 24 hours and yet they have taken so much time and allowed Maryam Nawaz and Nawaz Sharif and Shabash Sharif and Zardari and everybody to just fly out of the country and they still haven't yet uh, and they're talking about a case that is yet to be made against them amazing it's just amazing if that doesn't say farce I don't know what does now, it is said that, you know, that uh, as per usual, the, the establishment will now try to, you know, create an FIR uh, and put a charge against Imran Riaz Khan uh, and that, you know, he's going to be brought miraculously uh, back to uh, the front line in the sense that they're going to now pretend to arrest him and suddenly they'll produce him as a detainee. But listen, nobody gives a fuck right now, okay? Um, at the moment, all I, I just have three questions that I've been asking for a very long time now. Number one, the court keeps on giving its orders and it's not being implemented. Number two, um, you are such wimps, you, you, are, you have no balls that you just suddenly decided that this was the last step to be taken and after that you were going to to just you know put pakistan on a silver platter and hand it over to the us but it was foiled very badly and now you don't know how to back off so uh, number three uh, what are you number two so you you don't know how to back off even though you've got many chances to even now back off so what are you going to do about it number three what the hell do you think we are you know uh you think we don't know that you are uh, that we are under an unofficial dictatorship we have known that from day one you think that we don't know that you have basically committed treason the army has committed treason the establishment has committed treason pdm the coalition parties have committed treason you think we don't know that we've been wanting to put you all in for treason and you know that and that is why you decided that you could just you know turn the tables flip everything over and then uh, make imran khan bear the brunt of it and then make the public you know uh, sort of subdue the public you're wrong as i've said it again and again you are messing with the wrong generation and you are messing with the wrong people by insulting the overseas Pakistanis. You have just cut yourself off completely and you just shot yourself on the foot as well because they were your main source for your information. Pakistan, the reason that it's standing is not because of the US, it's not because of British people, of the British government, it's not because of any foreign state for your freaking information. Pakistan has survived till date because of these very overseas Pakistanis that you just insulted and offended. And now because they've decided to boycott you, you are fucked. Okay, you are totally fucked and you don't know what to do. So what have you thought about it? Have you even thought about how to back off? There's so many ways that even I can tell you how to back off, but you're still refusing. This obstinacy is going to cost you. It's not just going to cost you, it's going to cost your masters, both America and Britain. It's going to cost you very badly. And you're basically messing with the wrong people. So again, I'll ask my questions. Number one, 
the courts are constantly giving orders. Is anybody going to implement them? Number two, are you going to back off and save face even now or not? Number three, do you want us to put you down? Do you want us to put you and your masters down? That is all I have to say for now. This is me signing out.